Queen Elizabeth on the warpath. Robbie Williams admits smoking pot at Buckingham Palace Queen Elizabeth is absolutely disgusted with new reports of celebrity smoking marijuana at Buckingham Palace. Chart topper Robbie Williams recently admitted that he smoked a joint at Buckingham Palace back in 2012. The controversial British singer opened up about smoking at Buckingham Palace during the Queen's Diamond Jubilee concert. He told Britain's Sun newspaper, threw up in Buckingham Palace? No. I smoked a spliff in Buckingham Palace. Of course, many fans aren't he surprised or shocked by Robbie Williams' confession. In 2013 he admitted that he still uses recreational drugs, even though he spent several months in rehab for his substance abuse and addiction problems. Yet, Robbie Williams isn't he the only celebrity that has smoked marijuana at the palace. John Lennon once said that the Beatles smoked marijuana in the palace bathrooms. British comedian Stephen Fry revealed he did cocaine in there too, as well as the House of Commons in the House of Lords. Plus, television celebrity Denise Van Outen confessed to stealing an ashtray and tissue box holder, but ended up later returning them. Fashion designer Vivian Westwood even said that she collected her ob while going commando back in 1992. If that weren't he enough, British presenter Steve Jones recently admitted that he even had sex at Buckingham Palace. Ironically, Queen Elizabeth recently enforced a new smoking ban at Buckingham Palace. Last December, reports indicated that Buckingham Palace introduced a strict no-smoking policy that is also enforced at Kensington Palace, Windsor Castle, St. James's Palace and the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. This means that no one including members of the monarchy can smoke on royal premises. Yet, the smoking of e-cigarettes is permitted in designated areas until May of next year. Of course, the last thing Queen Elizabeth wants to hear are reports of celebrity smoking marijuana at Buckingham Palace. She is no fan of Hollywood and the entertainment world. And, with all the reports of celebrity smoking, stealing and having sex at Buckingham Palace, it wouldn't be surprising if she banned them altogether. She simply wouldn't tolerate this kind of misbehavior. The last thing she wants